I've started. So I'm fully expecting the cat. He's sitting by his bowl, doing his usual thing of licking all the fucking sauce off and asking for food. He's a dick. He's being a total dick. Um, today's been alright. Started off very magically. I had a, um, I did a little energetic thing that I do. And it really, like, it makes me come alive. It made me come alive. I just thought, share it. <laughs> Someone might want to see, and a few people did. There's been like 20 odd people have seen it or something, um, which is nice. There was a couple of comments, which was lovely. It's nice when, like, that, and it's fucking all I've got, mate. It's all I've got in, like, connecting in any way with people is comments on Facebook. It's literally it, you know. Everyone's busy doing their thing. No one's, no one's free on Messenger. That just seems to be the way of it. No one wants to talk on there. <laughs> um, I know what it's like. <laughs> I'm intense. If people think, oh, if I ring him, it'll be an hour. <laughs> but anyway, it was lovely. It was lovely. And I thought it was like, well, I was giving a bit of a gift out in a way. I thought it was a gift. And that sounds really conceited, doesn't it? But it's not. It's just something I've discovered and it, it's brilliant and it works really well. So I thought I'd share it. Um, so I did. And it did say, I mean, literally, I've not stopped today. I have not stopped. i tell you what, though, it must be because I've forgotten them twice in the last four days or something. Speedy as fuck today. I've pissed 19 times. <laughs> I've been counting. <laughs> I've pissed 19 times today. Fucking 19. 19 times I've been for a piss. 19, I've just urinated. Do you know how many times? Um, and I did. <laughs> I did go on a bit of a cleaning mission. It's great because like, you know, like I've been carrying on with all my sorting things out. I've bought I've bought a couple of extra like pencil cases and stuff and I'm starting to itemize things as, as, as things that live in places in things. And they're all similar things in a, in, a, in a bag or a box or a something. And that's where I keep my such and such is. Um, I'm, I'm starting to do that as much as I can. I can find a lot more stuff in here. I had another rearrange of my studio workspace, whatever. So no, I didn't do any study again. <laughs> I was going to, but um, it's that old thing. I was just cleaning, 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 and that was probably the speediness of today. I'm not expecting anything terrible. It's like it's just cause a little spike. That's all it is. It'll be back to normal tomorrow. Um, oh, I didn't get my washing completed. I'm risking it. I went out at about nine and so it's starting to get dark and it's not dry so I'm like, it's gonna like if I take it in it's just gonna go smelly <laughs> if it's sunny in the morning if it's like nice and sunny early it'll freshen it up a bit um so I didn't get that done because I was just like zoning out like a little synth thing a little rolling thing I got it working it works it makes noises I haven't quite got it to record back into Ableton yet it will, because there's sound coming out of it, and there's an output, and that's going into the mixer, and there's a little green up and downy thing happening when I select the channel, but it's just not, it, it'll be the USB settings on the mixer. But I, I'm not good with studio mixers. I had a Machionix, and what was it, it was only a, well, they've, they've all got double tracks on them, and they've all got a mic line and whatever, so they're like, if there's six, there's normally 18 fucking channels or whatever that you can actually put 18 things in you can only play six at a time but um it's uh, there was three buttons by one of the volume buttons and it's like um what was it send to main mix or something was one of them but it was like there was a configuration <laughs> and there's another button somewhere and that's what it will be it will be there'll be another button somewhere you try and all three of them and nothing happens and there's another button and then with that one down, that one then went, and it's all of a sudden it started making noises. And like occasionally I'd be there for about 20 minutes going, what the fuck? I could see the little, you know, the, the lights are flashing on the hardware, on the DJ mixer, and then flashing on the computer screen. There's a signal. The computer knows about it. <laughs> they all know about it. Why is there no noise? Um, so at the moment, what I've got is noise, but no record capability. So I know enough to know that that is because it has to go through to the mixer and then the mixer loops it in and out of Ableton again with the USB and that's where it can record itself. Um, 
So it'll be that, it'll be, it'll be a send wherever the USB is getting sent to. But I spent about, probably about an hour, you know, when you get like fucking little cocktail sticks out or whatever. I didn't have a cocktail stick, but I was just using other little implements just to dig all the little old bits of probably, God, I bought that in 2003, I think. Yeah, 2003 I bought that. Yeah. <laughs> 17 year old goo because <laughs> I don't think I've ever cleaned it it's come up quite nice actually so that's like basically been my day um, of just sorting things out but you know like when you start dragging things out and then you start sweeping them out and you're like oh god there's all that and then so you clean the skirting board and just just did all that I just did loads of that it's not quite finished there's a few little bits but it's getting to that bit where now even if one drawer's open it looks messy so the rest of it must look tidy so then it'll be a quick whistle around in the morning and I'll be ready to study. Um, I'm going to do a slightly different meditation. My cousin asked me to do one for, and um, I said I'll tell you what I'll do one tomorrow. <laughs> Why not? So that will get me out in the garden nice and early doing a um, it, well qigong, qigong-ish <laughs> thing. I'm not going to go too deeply into qigong but um, yeah I'll do that. And that'll get me going and that'll charge me up and I'll do my Reiki thing. And there has been a lot today, actually, a lot more positive feelings in me, within me, <laughs> within my selfness. Um, like, when was it earlier? Something was happening earlier. And there was, there was a, a recognition of that sort of old me coming back. But then there was a further recognition where I sort of went, yeah, well, fucking hell. Yeah, do it then. And I just started to feel self-motivating like I used to be. I was a fucking... <laughs> I'm literally... I'm not a shadow of my former self. I'm just very different in levels of energy, in levels of enthusiasm, in levels of, like, just doing things. I was always doing things. I was always, 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 always doing things. Um, I had to be. Um, I was still late with everything. I was never doing the things I was supposed to be doing, but I was doing something, <laughs> pretty much. But um, there was, I can't really describe it. I can't really describe it, but there was something about the, there wasn't that reluctance. Not reluctance, it's not a reluctance. I think it's kind of a negativity that's built up over the last couple of years with so many things going wrong. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, gonna fucking sort it all out again, are you? It's like I'm getting bored of hearing myself say it. I'm literally, I, I can't believe how quickly that three years has gone. I can't believe how much money I've gone through. I can't believe how many disasters I've had. I can't believe how well it could have gone. I can't believe what where I could be right now, what I could be doing right now. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. So there's all that, you know. See, you had a fucking golden opportunity and look what you did with it. All of that shit to deal with. Because anyone would do that to themselves. Anyone would. But then you've got all that negative belief following you around and then real big shit starts to happen. It's like, who would believe in themselves when they keep fucking everything up? It's just, it's just another one. It's just another one of the dogs that's barking at me at the moment. There's a big gang of them. Fucking smelly, horrible little bastards. And they keep woofing. <laughs> Basically, well, they have been. But change is change, everything is temporary. Um, like I've said before, like I said it to my friend the other night, last night, we had a little chat. And uh, she, what was it? She asked about some stuff and said, oh, shouldn't I ask? And I said, well, bloody blah. <coughs> but then I said, well, just look at the nature of it. Like, I've heard plenty of stories where people say, oh, we're just... I was lost for eight years. I didn't know what I was doing. I did a job doing this, and I, you know, blah, 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 and then they sort of refine themselves again. So it feels like forever right now, but it's like, well, yeah, but I'm going to live till I'm 96. <laughs> I think I am. Um, I've thought that for a long time. Who knows? But anyway, I've got a few fucking years left in me. I know that much. Um... And when I think of all the years before, and it's like all the years before is what seemed to be such a fucking waste. That's the thing, is none of them seems to count for anything. 
And I can't explain that. You'd ask me to explain that if I was telling you. There'd be no point. There'd be no point. It's just a conclusion that a human draws when they reach this much bleakness is the way to explain it. It's the same conclusion that you would reach. <laughs> it is. We're all identical, basically. It's just the influences we receive. And the support we receive, you know. Some people are luckier than others. Um, but, uh, where the fuck am I going now? There's a fucking vacancy for us. But yeah, no, I haven't stopped. That's the good thing. I stopped, like, for meals. I've eaten okay-ishly. A little bit hungry now, but I can't be fucked to cook. I'm just going to eat sweets and crisps. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um... But, but, but yeah, I, I stopped and did that. But the rest of the time, I was literally constantly doing something. I hardly ever like sat around. A lot, a lot of days, I just sort of sit and stare. I was vacantized by myself a few times. I found myself just staring blankly at things, and whatever. But that's like that's nothing new. But other than that, I was I I kept doing things, and it was you know doing things that involved like getting all that shit and raking in behind there and putting. Like, Stuff that I've moved some stuff around. It's just there's a little bit more floor space. It's more organised. I did all my ornaments. I put them all like a sort of crystal energy charging centre, and it's going to get the sun every morning. The sun's going to hit it right there. As the sun comes up, it comes up from over there, and it goes diagonally. So there'll be a good, good hour or two a day where this morning sun is bang on them, charging them up every day. So um, I did that. And yeah, it's been probably like, I don't know, all told, sort of six out of ten as days go. But there wasn't, there's no tears, no anger, no impatience or anything. Even with him being a dick all day, he had been being a dick all fucking day. <laughs> but the thing is with him, he, he gets whingy, but a lot of the time he's just whinging for this. So he can sit here. He's adopted this fucking pillow again. He was on it last night, and I just noticed he's been on it most of the day, so I'm going to just let him have the big flat pillow. It's the fucking fat one. If I get hold of that first, he won't sleep on any of the pillows. <laughs> he's got hold of the fat one now, because I put it down to film this, and he's fucking got on there. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> ah, father has provided my cushion. <laughs> Wonderful. He's not given that one to me for a little while. <laughs> fucking wanker. He is literally sitting on a cushion, like, you know, those cats that American ladies carry around on cushions. <laughs> He's literally sitting like that, with fucking morally dog. But yeah, it's, um... It's, it's alright, it's alright. So, do I have a different, do I have a different experience at weekends? I think sometimes I seem to be more constructive at weekends. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Anyway, onwards and upwards, and tally ho, and toodle pip, and tarada ba bum and um, do my lali.